And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Twisted Vi. Maybe my favorite deck to play. If I had to pick out one uh, deck that I really enjoy and one deck that's really good at ranking, this would probably be it. But we haven't played it since the new patch, and so we're going to do that with one small change. So first, now with the new patch, um, patch 1-4, we're, we're going to have... Uh, some nab nab cards now. So these are no longer referred to as yoink cards. They're now nabbing because they're going to be taking from the bottom of the enemy deck. So now Black Market Merchant's a 2-1 instead of a 2-2. So that's a downgrade. But honestly, taking the cards from the bottom of the deck is going to be an upgrade a lot of the time for the per for the person that's playing your the like for us that's playing Black Market Merchant Pilfered Goods. Because before whenever before whenever you'd play like all those yoink cards. Um, you would have to face a lot of champions because you really did dig your opponent to champions. Um, that's that was very common. So like you'd have to face champions all the time. Now that we're not going to be digging our opponent towards champions anymore because we're drawing from the bottom, that's honestly going to be an upgrade basically all the time. Sure, we don't get like the the bonus thing from an Omen Hawk every once in a while, but that's going to be nice. You know, facing a regular random distribution of champions instead of the uh, hypercharged. Um, you know, they have champions more often. Um, so that's going to be nice. Um, but besides that, uh, basically keeping everything the same, because I really do uh, like all this stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be playing Morning Shots. Uh, it's something we were kind of talking about in chat before, if I'm supposed to be making room for, for Warning Shots or not. I don't know. There's like pluses and minuses, you know, minuses is just, you know, it's a zero mana card that does one damage, but it makes it easier to turn on plunder. I don't know. I don't have, I still don't have warning shots in here, but I guess I could, I mean, I could see playing warning shots. I just don't, I like a lot of these cards too much. <laughs> um, I just want to see what cards they take. Is that too much to ask? They're my cards. Cry face. <laughs> yeah, I, I could understand that. I think that would be pretty fair if you could see the cards. Um, one small change I'm making, I, I am, while I'm a big fan of Jaw Hunters, um, I'm going to try this new Petty Officer, so this card also looks really good right now. Um, and I kind of wanted to play more Petty Officers, but I didn't really find anything to, to take out. Maybe a spray fin um, for another one, but, um, anyway, now this, now this Petty Officer is a 3-2, that's a good sized body, that's not, you know, trading with, um, Spiderling or Omenhawk, so, like, that's good. Plus, you get the random one drop which, you know, can be pretty awesome. And sometimes we could use the Powder Keg. Uh, maybe we have seven mana and we play this plus, like, Twisted Fate Red card with that Powder Keg. Or, you know, we have, like, the Make It Rain or, or something like that. You know, we need our, our Mystic Shot to trade up. Um, so, you know, like, we can do some cool stuff with the Powder Keg as well. So I'm going to try one Petty Officer in here. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what we're going to do. Let's go play some Twisted Vi. Get some nice rank up. Oh yeah, we're check we we're checking this out. So gauntlets aren't quite open yet. We'll probably do like gauntlet day tomorrow. Which I guess this would have been a good gauntlet deck, to be honest. What are my emotes looking like? We got new emotes now. What kind of new emote do we want to use? Bye. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Warning Shot's really good after you leveled up Twisted Fate, that's for sure. That's for sure. Do, do, do. Okay. Hands looking pretty decent. We're playing against Burn. Definitely like Make It Rain against Burn, and honestly, all this other stuff looks. Okay, um, I'm not sure about I'm not sure about black market merchants. Um, yeah, it's, gauntlets are already available in, in Europe. No, sad, for, sad for me. I'm not sure about black market merchants. Um, I may not turn on plunder. I guess make it rain turns on plunder. All right, we're keeping it. does mean I'm kind of priced into playing Black Market Merchant or like Make It Rain later. Well, I'm 
makes that pretty good. Oh, the decline of Boom Crew Rookie. Taking out turn one Legion Saboteur, turn two Boom Crew Rookie. Taking both of those out with one card and two life. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll try anyone. Uh, I mean, I should thermogenic beam that, but I also, I just, I want to play Black Market Merchant, but we're just going to thermogenic beam this. This is what we should do. Why you can't know what cards are stolen? Because it's it's like in real life. You can't know what's stolen until you check your wallet, which is like your deck. Yeah, you'd have to be able to look. Since you can't look through... It's like, so somebody like pickpocketed... Usually someone would pickpocket your wallet, though, not like something inside your wallet. Um, I'm going to play this. <clears throat> Get the random one-cost follower. Which I'm going to be choosing most of the time. <laughs> Blender Bora. But you know, it's it's three power, so it trades with uh, that spooky little spider. And I guess I go Vi this next turn. Or I could go Kempunk Pickpocket plus Black Market Merchant. If I attack with both, do they block with both? It's not likely. I'm gonna double spell. I think it's just kind of always good to keep to keep going wide and double spelling and stuff like that against um, Burn Deck. It's it's easy for them to play a bunch of cheap things and kind of go wide around something that's bigger. Let's make it deep. What you looking for? For the Empire. I'm just gonna be using the pickpocket to block the spider. We've done a good job keeping the game going long and staying alive, but we do need to eventually win this game before they just draw 12 points of burn. And obviously I played the elusive to pair with their elusive. Um... Poros of the North. Okay, change wall to your house. Yeah, there you go. You have to look in your house before you know what somebody took from your house. Your path ends Okay, if they don't block, if I take the three two, they don't block with Poro. They take three, they go down to five. I could transfusion to make that they go down to three. Um, Salesman doesn't really kill them. All right, we're not really killing them. Maybe you need a closer look.
I'm not gonna play Salesman. I don't want to make my life total any less. Unfortunately, it means I don't really have anything to play here. I mean, I could just play the Riptide Rex, I guess. I mean, it attacks for seven. But I want to see what they play. Um... Because, like, if they don't play a blocker, they die. If they play a blocker, I can Thermogenic Beam it. All right, let's just play the shark. And good thing I never played. Good thing I didn't play the salesman, right? Good thing they didn't draw a mystic shot. That would have been. That would have been sad. No. Oh, well, there we go. <clears throat> Want to know? Yeah, that was a scary top deck. All right, back up to platinum two. Hey, Strat. Nakano, hello. You just love the YouTube content first stream. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you over here. All right, Trey Loss, check out this deck. What do we got? Okay, got War Mothers. No champion War Mothers. Double harrowing, triple War Mothers. Yeah, that one team of mushroom. Oh, that's true. Oh man, I would have could have got could have just drawn a team of mushroom also. That would have been sad. Um this is gonna be pretty aggressive too. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I don't do anything until turn three. I just don't do anything turn turn one or turn two. Yuck, please don't have a lease. No. No. Ugh. Uh, I haven't yeah, we haven't had anything like too special since pa patch day you know it's just a couple of days ago this is a deck this is like one of the decks I've had the most success with before the patch first time first time playing it since the patch and now my, my name's actually related uh, to Hawkeye was is what I named my my cat who passed away in January that's why started this name Hawkeye after my cat that was a big part of the stream <sighs> see I wanted to do turn three here go mystic shot them then play black market merchant then play pilfered goods like that was my plan but I felt like I had to kill that 2-1 this isn't spectacular though All right, well, I'll give that, I'll give your uh, War Mother's deck a try later. I don't know, I don't know, like, what day. 
you know, with, with some time. I'll, I'll, I'll give that deck a try. That one looks like it'll be fun to play. I'll, I'll play that uh, stray loss. Gosh, their hand was insane. Mine was horrible. We are getting demolished. <laughs> Why transfusion? <laughs> but one mana spider, turn two Elise, turn three Iron Ballista, turn four Iron Ballista. Yuck. Okay. Um, we do have Vi challenge Elise. Or I could have. Warning shot, black market merchants, pilfered goods, and just try to steal a bunch of things that cost zero mana. And basically play a bunch of zero mana stuff. I could go that route as well. No, never played Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to go with the really risky, high upside line. There we go. Paying off so far. Where the, the Vi is like the safe play that like we know what's going to happen with playing the Vi. This is the risky line with the high upside. And I feel like like whenever you're behind, it's kind of good to take some some risky lines that have high upside that can turn turn the game around if, if things break your way. Um, you know, it could it could be things don't break our way and we get demolished, but uh, I like the I like taking the risk. Um, yeah, we have, we've definitely played against Vimer with this deck. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we did okay against it because I've played this deck three times and we went 5-0 twice and the other time I know we went 3-2 and, uh, both losses were pretty crazy of the opponents having lots of stuff. So like, we've, I've always done well with this deck, so... I, but I, and I'm sure I'm sure we've gotten played against we paired it against Vimer, but I don't I just don't remember the the games specifically. Ride for Noxus. Yeah, 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 ride for Noxus. Um. Oh, puppy dog. Okay, um, pump spells are going to be hard to beat if they have pump spells. So that puts me down to three. Come on, just let this happen. No pump spells, please. I took two of your transfusions. You can't have any other pump spells. Just let this happen. No, let another transfusion. So young. Hmm. 
dónde que Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't afford yep, it's over. I couldn't afford them to have another pump spell. They probably just have three transfusions in the deck, like those are probably the only pump spells. You know, as far as the that uh pump up the health, you know, and not just the power. Like that's probably it. We stole two, puppy, but they had the third. I know, I know, puppy. There you go. You want to be on camera? There you go, puppy. Okay, well. I know they have the third transfusion. How silly was that? Do you want to come up here? Hey, we got a new, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Puppy, get some hype in here. SKTT. Welcome. Oh, hey, Twisted Fate. That's a good champion. Oh wait, that card. All right, risking it. Where's our warning shot that we won't draw because we don't have in our deck? I'll write my own story. Bonus hand was awesome that last game. It does take it does take a very good hand to beat our deck. All right, puppy. This risk isn't looking so good. New recruit reporting Triple one drop. Um, Whenever you keep a slower hand, your opponent never has a slower hand. Also, do they? <laughs> they just have triple one drop super aggro punish you completely. So triple one drop, turn three, three mana champion, turn four, your two mana champion, and another two drop. Dang. Shouldn't have kept all these black market merchants and stuff. Not not a matchup for him, and I didn't draw a oh, Mystic Shot, you could have been helpful a lot earlier. Um I guess you're you're still helpful. I mean I'm just gonna use you to kill these things. I should have Mystic Shot Lucian to start with. I don't need a at 
Hey, Raspbeard, I'm doing good. Hey, big time. Hey, thanks, thanks for joining in the stream for the first time. We are in trouble. Two aggro decks in a row with wonderful hands. Wonderful hands. Which, which deck that I played yesterday? Burn away the shadows. Which one? Fire beware. The birds and bullets deck? Yeah, I think that deck's pretty good for climbing. I certainly wish this was turn 8 and I could play Vi and um, Jaw Hunters. Guess I have to play Jaw Hunters and Yordle Grifter. I don't know how I'm really staying alive. Well, just playing, just playing Jaw Hunters, I don't stay alive. Like even though I challenge something here, so I need to take something for one mana that I can play. Awesome. And now we need to draw. We need to draw a removal spell like a Gotcha. And then I can block and stay alive. So come on, draw. Gotcha. Get excited. Gotcha. Get excited. Kill for goods. Uh, not it. Yeah, the changes. The changes are really good. Um, they've they've done just a, a wonderful job with the changes in, in the patches and everything. Um, yeah, I mean it's just just good changes across the board. No. We took three spells from them, and not a single one of them were removal spells. All right. Well, I mean, that one, I, I know I, I kept a slow hand, and I knew I was keeping a slow hand. Um, so, you know, like, there's risk involved in keeping a slow hand. They did not have a slow hand to help me out. Triple one drop, you know, turn one, one drop, turn two, two more one drops, turn three, misfortune, turn four, Lucian plus Bright Seal Protector. That's as fast and mana efficient as you can possibly be. So it didn't, weren't able to stabilize. There's a Petty Officer in the deck. Yeah, we played against two two aggro decks that had their best their best possible curves, right? Like, you know, then the other one it was you know, one drop into, you know, the two one fearsome spider into Elise into three mana four three overwhelm. And that one we would have stabilized if they didn't have their only other pump spell in their whole deck. So yeah, we just played against two perfect curves. And I kept slow hands. Keeping. In... 
Um, yeah, I, I like one ofs a lot. I think one ofs are um, are really valuable. I think that's something that people don't do enough is play one ofs in decks. With this being just a, a best of one game, and with the games being vastly different, you know, sometimes you play against a, a fast aggro deck, sometimes a control, sometimes a mid range. Like the the shape that games take on are vastly different all the time, and you need different tools when, you, especially when you're playing mid range decks. Like if you play it, you play like an, an aggro deck, you don't really need as many one ofs. But when you play like these mid range decks, that um, you're gonna find yourself in in different situations all the time. You you kind of want uh, a good wide variety of cards to be able to use so you have the right cards for different scenarios. Um, let's get Twisted Fate in play first. All right, so let's see. Blue card draws one, and then... See, then what am I gonna go? Am I gonna go like spray fin blue card? No, because I want to play black market merchant next turn. Hmm, maybe that means I guess that means I have to go spray fin this turn. Even though I'd like obviously I'd like to have Twisted Fate in play before Spray Fin. Because um Because getting that extra card draw for Twisted Fate. Man, that's a great one drop to hit too. That last breath, that's a great one drop. Hey Alfredo. I don't no, I don't I don't think this deck needs best of three. I think that um I, I, yeah, this deck really doesn't need... Or like, sorry, not this deck, sorry, this game. This game doesn't really need best of three. Maybe for like a, a tournament mode kind of thing, maybe, but I would, I would think that would actually just kind of draw out games too long. Gotta trust your instincts. Eight mana. Yeah, with how with how long and detailed all these games are, like playing three three games just to for for like one win. You know, you're looking at you know like thirty minutes a game. I I just don't I don't think it's too necessary. They still have a ton of cards over there. Even more than I have. They're doing a wonderful job at leveling up game playing as well.
treasures of the ages, for Christ's sake. We're going infinite. With black market merchants going infinite. I kind of wanted to do that like this turn with the Riptide Rex, and it looks like that's what they're doing. Uh, I had to Mystic Shot the Nexus to be able to turn on Plunder. That is why I did that. likely going to be able to burn me out. I was really impressed, especially, well, especially this matchup, but I was really impressed with, I'm going to just save this mana, <clears throat> really impressed with those death's hands. It is perfect against my deck, though. I have so many, like, two twos. But those death's hands were just perfect. I, like, you know, getting the, the plunder damage in, leveling up Gangplank. These these games have shown how it can be difficult for me to turn on plunder more. You know, I've definitely struggled more than I have previously with these games, but it does show why Warning Shot's a good card. These games that we played here, especially this game, especially this game. I don't really love any play I have. Here comes the punchline. Yeah, this this whole game, a warning, like a warning shot in this whole game would have made a, a big difference. Being able to play my black market merchant a lot earlier. Can't do anything about that, right? So it's one, two, three, four. And then three to me. I don't think I can do anything about this. You gotta be kidding me. My dog's stomach is upset. It's growling a bunch, and she wouldn't eat. But she does this a couple of times. She wouldn't eat. Um, I wouldn't eat her breakfast this morning. Her stomach's just growling. Yeah, I can hear it. I think it's from the grass outside that sometimes when she eats, like, some grass, her stomach will be upset. But then she's... This probably happened, like, four times or so in the last couple of months. But she's um, always okay later on in the day and then, then eats it. So, like, I, I just have her breakfast set aside. She's laying on my lap right now. Little puppy dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I feed the dogs twice a day. Um, they get dry food in the morning and then can't then canned food in the evening. And they have like their little portions that the the vet said how much they should have. Um, you know, they split, split one can of canned food in the evening. Success gets you noticed around here. Mm. 
You only feed once a day? Okay. Bro, a lot of people feed like three times a day. I thought that I was on the low end feeding twice a day. Lonely Poro. Get him, Lonely Poro. Get him. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Don't ask where I'm from. Ask how much. I never disclose my sources. What else do we get? Ooh, another black market merchant. Treasures of the ages. Okay. Good zero mana omen hawk. Overwhelming quick attack. <laughs> Blender Poro is so silly. Alright, this is where they go red card, Twisted Fate red card, and kill everything. Fortune favors the bold. No, it doesn't. That's a card that I could have used a lot more in some of those other games. Gotcha. I need more of those. Oh no, the trigger plunder. I don't want that to trigger plunder. Danger paid. Oh, I'm so sorry, big time. Sorry. Put your dog down. It's that's the Oh, indecisive too. It's the oh, that is the, the it's the just the worst. It's the hardest thing about being a pet owner. It's so sad. We can Riptide Rex. <clears throat> I kind of want them to play one other thing, though. But if I pass, will they pass back? They're probably not going to pass back. This is me being greedy. What you looking for? Me being greedy right there, for sure. Nabbin. And now a bunch of stuff from them, so now they're returning the favor. Dang. One of those had to have been mine, because I took one of theirs. That must have been the very first one had to have been mine, because it didn't reduce the cost of either of these.
Red card. Yeah, that is so sad. The heat stroke, a one year, 15 month old puppy just spent 20 minutes at the dog park. Didn't show any signs of heat stroke. Ouch. Carved from the savage cold. Wow, they had two other Riptide Rexes in hand. Wonder Poro! <clears throat> Getting it done! Wonder Poro! Alright, so that game, we just went crazy with the, the Plunder stuff, and you know, like our, our Black Market Merchant hit one of theirs, hit some pill for goods. We, we, uh, um, yeah, we went crazy there. Yeah, so this, this time, this is the, the most we struggled with the deck. You know, we struggled against a couple aggro decks. Um, I did keep slow hands of, you know, just like merchants, pill for goods, and not much else, um, against one, one of them. The other one we, like, mulliganed into just double pill for goods, um, which is kind of rough. Bye, bye. Um, but yeah, then, then the third game really showed that the warning shot is really important. Hmm. Like, <clears throat> just how, how the third game played out. It was, it was a game that if we would have had a warning shot, it would have made the, all the difference in the world. Um... So yeah, still still kind of work. Want, need to work on this a little bit. Looks like it's not perfect. We have some holes. Um, I just don't really know where I want to put warning shot in. Um, I I really liked the gotcha. That was a card that I, I kind of wish I had more of, like just against the aggro decks and stuff. I wish I had more of these. A lot of three health things running around. Um, I did like the grifter because it does. You know that creates a warning shot. I could see just playing one Riptide Rex. Don't know if we need to. Um, Sprayfin, Sprayfin's not spectacular because it's kind of expensive. So I could I could see playing two of these. But this is a really good way for me to turn on Plunder because it's like an elusive thing that hits them. Like this this was is kind of one of my key ways of turning on Plunder in the mid game. And of course it it draws a spell and it draws just good. Rem like good removal spells for us because you know if we look besides the rummage which it's not usually that bad to have a rummage it you know it's drawing thermogenic beam make it rain mystic shot pilfered goods get excited like those are all awesome spells to draw um even in in the uh the late game like it like those are perfect for like double spelling like where you can play you know make it rain play a mystic shot and something else play a pilfer goods and something else so I do like the Zap Spray Fin a lot. So I'll well, just kind of tinkering with this. I'll, I'm going to have to just play it some more. Because, um, you know, it's not it's not perfect. We did we did struggle a little bit today. Um, but we also ran into two opponents with the best possible curve they could have, like aggro curve they could have. Like that That was two of our losses. And then our third loss, I could I just couldn't trigger Plunder. So we'll, we'll have to see. All right, so there we go. Twisted Vi, not always five O's, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, not always, you know, things don't always go your way. But interesting games, fun games, and this is just a, a fun deck to play that is quite strong. 
All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave those comments also. I would appreciate that as well. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's some Twisted Vi, and I'll see you for the next video.